Hey guys, Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the channel. So we are back in our Spade Gulch Mining Town build. It's a build I recently did. And today I'm gonna go through a little bit of a more detailed walkthrough of what we have going on here. Also, real quick, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who you know watches my videos and supports my channel. Still relatively new to this YouTube thing, but just the fact that people actually watch my stuff and enjoy it still still blows my mind to this day i mean i had a goal i think to hit 100 subs by the end of 2021 and we blew that out of the water maybe it was a little too conservative but just thank you thank you so much to everyone who who watches my stuff i i couldn't do it without you guys so without further ado grab a snack grab a drink and let's get right into it so spade gulch mining town so this build was challenging but honestly it was so much fun um the big challenge was just obviously the terrain for one i mean this area i chose to build obviously it it is by the spade gulch and so it just reminded me of like a perfect place to put like maybe like a bit of a mining town but the different elevation made it really challenging but i i think at the same time it's what makes it look kind of cool and really interesting because you just have so many different levels and different layers of things um you know i was a little unsure at first when i started out but i think it turned out quite nice um the again the idea was to just kind of create this this mining town um i don't know maybe they're just over here mining pebblets or what other whatever other resources that you would find here maybe maybe some gold you never know you never know so yeah, there's a lot of, you know, layers and crossing over with bridges and zip lines and things like that. So I think it, I think it worked out. A lot of these buildings, um, you know, they're just more like workshops or try to make it seem like areas where people might come to, you know, maybe process the minerals or whatever resources they're collecting around here. So it's a combination of those combined with just some smaller... Just cozy huts and, and, and places where people might sleep. So if we go down here, I kind of wanted like a, like I guess like a mine or like maybe a bit of like a goblin town feel, right? I mean, obviously not to that scale, but as you can see, there's a lot of like crisscrossing bridges and different layers to it. And that's at least what I had in mind. Um, it's too bad we actually can't build in these tunnels here. I think this is probably as far as we could go, but um, I thought that the sign was a nice little uh, nice little addition. Maybe conveys a story of, you know, something dangerous down here. There's, there's some reason that we don't want to go down in this tunnel. So yeah, we obviously have a lot of different bridges and different um, places to cross this, this gulch here. One of my favorite parts of this build actually is this bridge right here. It's not huge, but what I did is I wanted to make it seem like one, it actually felt structurally supported and actually made sense. And so what I did was I used the zip lines to make it feel like it was actually roped and held up by these towers. And I think it at least sells the idea of that. And I, definitely blended it with some of the other scaffolding below and then made it two layers and I like making my bridges multi-layered like that and just instead of just single floors because it just feels a little more substantial that way I mean at least, at least in my mind right like it just seems really flimsy if you just have one layer so I like to try to you know beef them up a little bit and um, I think it really worked out these towers are also you know, I did a little bit more decoration with some of the fencing up there and then did some lights and it looks really nice in the night as well. Um, you know, I guess that's another nice part about this build is that the way I've, I've lit it, it, it really does light up at night and looks quite cool. So I have some other just general work buildings. Um, this is probably one of my favorite buildings as well. Um, this made it into the other video, but I wanted to go for a bit like a tavern look with this one, and this is the bar up here, and what I did was I basically just cut these foundation pieces in half just to make it seem like a, 
maybe a shelf up here. Um, so if you actually go to the other side of this building, it's sticking out. It doesn't look terrible, actually, looking at it from the other side, but at least sells the idea on the inside. And then this fireplace, I thought was just a very creative way to convey it. I layered some different torches. And then I didn't want to light all of them because it just gets super bright and I think that's a little too much. So I just lit a couple of them to at least give the illusion of fire. And then we have the, what is this, the drying, the drying rack where you can dry meats. But it just, it really works, right? So maybe this is where you would roast your different foods and then a couple bowls, things like that. I thought it, it really frames the room nicely and gives it a real cozy feel, especially at night. Um, this is where you hold the drinks and then the stairs will loop outside for a little bit and then go on up to just some different rooms and I do like to make sure that each room is furnished and I like creating worlds that feel lived in right I don't want to create a world that just has a bunch of vacant Vacant houses, vacant buildings, that doesn't feel lived in and it kind of loses the magic feel to it. But I really like how the profile of this this building worked out. Um, quite a large building, took a little bit, of, quite a bit of time, even in creative mode, but really pleased with how that worked out. So we also have a bunch of different zip lines, obviously, that crisscross throughout the, the entire map. You can actually get up to all these towers that have the zip lines, which is nice. And I don't know, just a fun way, fun way to get around. I mean, there's obviously a lot of different large rocks in this map, and I wanted to create scaffolding around it to make it seem like maybe we were mining or collecting stuff from these rocks. You know, maybe collecting pebblet roofs resources or something. I don't know, that was the story I had in my mind when I was going ahead and building this whole thing. I mean, that's that's something that's really important when you're doing these larger scale kind of comprehensive builds is that you always want to have the story in mind or have things make sense. You know, why why are you building this here? What's the story behind it? And that's how I really go about doing these builds. If we work our way over here, so this was really more just a uh, wep like a weapons shop, or not weapons, I guess a tool shop. So where you can come get your hammers and axes or pickaxes and get your, get your equipment so you can go work the day away in the mines. Um, you know, just, just seemed like a necessary addition to the mining town. So another thing that I did was a bit of a water tower, or at least that was the idea. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if, if that actually <laughs> conveyed the idea of a water tower or not. But I thought it gave a nice profile to the to the landscape and added some some character to the build. So yeah, there's obviously just a bunch of smaller shacks around here. You know, and that's the that's the thing. So when I build these places, it's not always about just having some big massive building that takes up a bunch of space. Sometimes it's just about the placement of the buildings and, you know, making it all mesh together nicely, right? I mean, nothing in here is actually huge. I guess the tavern is probably the biggest building, but it's, it's, it's more about just the way it all fits together. You know, the overall, the overall picture of everything. So we work way over here. This is meant to be a little bit more of a residential district with different houses. Um, Definitely continued the whole fireplace idea. Each one looks a little bit different too. I, I don't like just copy and pasting, you know, the same floor plan over and over again, right? I want each each house to have a different feel, have a different, uh, like even this one. This one's a small one, doesn't even have a fireplace. So maybe someone a little, little lower class lives here. But yeah, I don't want to follow just the same floor plan. I want everything to feel new, different, and thoughtful. Uh, nothing nothing too cookie cutter. But yeah, as you can see, everything is furnished. Everything's lived in. And yeah, obviously you need to have a place for the miners to, uh, 
to live in this town. Yeah, it just, I don't know, I, I feel like every house is just cozy. Right? I mean, the fireplace definitely helps with that feeling, but just gets a, just gives you a, a warm feeling. So here's a, another, another house design that I did. Maybe like a kitchen area. And upstairs, it's all furnished. So yeah, just a couple different different house ideas. If you guys want a tutorial about how I actually design and build some of these, just let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely put that together. Um, it's, it's definitely not too hard. I, I follow a lot of similar principles when I build these things and then just switch up certain aspects and then uh, slightly tweak it to make it to make it different. All right, so there you guys have it. Spade Gulch Mining Town. Again, really challenging build, but I think it paid off in the end. I really like how it turned out. You never know how things are gonna really work out when you when you try a, a themed build like this. But hopefully, hopefully the whole story was was conveyed. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for supporting the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.